G'day guys, today's case study is brought to you by the words apparently and allegedly and the number six because there are about six things that weren't up to the Australian Gas Association standards on this new caravan. G'day guys, how are you going? I'm Ben from Beautiful Plumbing. So, um, apparently there was about 40 of these Sanoa Forest River caravans that were built in the USA but one of the guys read the plan upside down, not upside down, but the reverse over. So the door ended up on the wrong side and they thought, gee, what are we gonna do with these? We'll have to, it should be cost too much to fix. How about we just send them to Australia? So apparently that's what they did, allegedly. Anyway, um, they all got sent to Melbourne, I think it was. That's the story. I'm just hearing different things from, from different people. And anyway, um, when the dealer got it in there, he just assumed that they were all up to the gas standards because apparently they, they sent um, all the, the gas stuff over with them to do it. Allegedly, he just signed off and said, look, yeah, they're good to go and sold them off and licensed them and, and got them all over here. Anyway, one of the blokes uh, saw in Perth thought, oh, yeah, I wouldn't mind one of those because they're quite a light van and they're sort of well built and stuff and they've you know, got nice features and all the rest of the stuff. So he imported it uh, or, you know, got it shipped over to WA, brought it down to the licensing centre and the licensing guy said, where's the gas certificate, you know, the completion and compliance notice? And he was like, I think it's up to standard, you just got to give me the number plate and they're like no no, no I need to I need to have that so uh, yeah he called up the the dealer in Melbourne and, and said uh, what's going on with that how, how did you get it licensed and uh, you know um, I can't do it over here because I need some form or something and the dealer said oh allegedly said that mate it just it just just have to um, I just sent it off so he uh, sort of had to get that fixed you know like the, the guy at the licensing center said you need a you know a gas fitter who knows what knows about this sort of stuff um, to have a look at it and and sign off on it right so uh, he did a bit of a Google search of, you know, the best gas fitter in the world and guess who he came up with? Yeah, not me, it was Steve from uh, Nexus Gas. So uh, he called him up, but Steve was too busy and uh, he said, well, maybe give Ben from Beautiful Plumbing. He's got a couple of guys that work for him, so he might have capacity, so give him a call. So that's what happened. Uh, so he brought it over here. Uh, we had a look at it. Had a few things wrong with the gas pipe was actually steel that was all screwed fittings together right down the whole, whole unit, right? Uh, so that had to be uh, fixed. Um, one of the hoses on the regulator is this a new one with the black fitting, you know, which is that's only just come in. So uh, that was that was fair enough. Every fitting and cooker, any gas appliance needs to be um, have certification from the Australian Gas Association. Now, if you don't have that, we as gas fitters can't put it in. Same as plumbers, if you don't have the well's approval on, on a tap, we're the plumber. We're responsible for putting that in. If we put it in, it, it's 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 our fault sort of thing so we can't connect up anything that hasn't got the AGA like tick of approval and there's a directory that you can look on and you can see the model number or, or, of the stove or fridge or cooker or whatever it is and if and if it's on there that means they've, they've had it certified and it's okay to go into a, inside a van uh, so we we searched high and low for the cooker and it's just not on the we couldn't see it anywhere on the directory so we couldn't hook it up so this van here we've run a new copper lines. Also, the, the valves weren't um, to Australian Gas Association standards, so we've changed those valves over, put new ones of those on. But with the stove, yeah, we've left it in there, but we've capped it off so you can't use it. And also, one, one thing too, it's got a CO2 device, um, you know, detection, and also um, LPG device um, in there as well, which, which is great for a, for a caravan. But no vents, like in, in Australia, you need a permanently high vent and a permanently low vent. So normally, most caravans they just build them into the doors they, they, they came in but these ones didn't have anything like that so you could use that you know stove inside and it could burn up their oxygen in there and then you know um, you could get a headache or even fall asleep and not wake up that sort of stuff so you know it's very important you have those high and low vents and there's a calculation and a formula you got to follow to make sure they're the correct size so we had to cut holes in the doors put a new vent in the door um, up the top there we put a, another vent um, through the through the sandwich panel put a vent up there so that's permanently now that's all good even though we haven't hooked the stove up eventually he's going to get a stove in there of course now they're a really nice van they're, they're super light which is great so you can tie them with quite a small car they've got a really nice bathroom and stuff you know quality toilet they've got actually like a tub in the bathroom as well that um that you, can, you can stand in so if you do have small kids you, you could just you know grandkids or whatever you can put them in there so you know, really nice, nice van. The bed's super high too, which is which is really nice. Well finished off. It looks 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 pretty good. So uh, you know, there's nothing wrong. It's just a you know, just some more of the gas problems. But yeah, so you know, we, we also uh, put a new gas bayonet underneath as well for them for their uh, marine grade 
barbecue with a flame failure device, it's very important that you, you, know, you don't just hook your normal Webers into them anymore. So that's, that's what we've done now. All new copper, sleeved, all the rest of the stuff. So she's up to standard now, but I don't know what's gonna to happen to, uh, you know, allegedly the guy sold all those, you know, 30 something vans over in, in Victoria. So if you've got one of these vans that you've bought over in Victoria, and you're driving around and have a look, if they've got steel pipes under there, and they've got a suburb, some sort of suburban stove or whatever that, that's in there, um, then maybe, you know, I think it's best if you hook your caravan up, come over to WA, see if Steve from Nexus can fix it for you. And if he can't, he'll probably send you on us to us and then uh, we, can, we can sort it out for you and uh, make it all safe for you. All right, guys, so make sure you get your gas approval. It's very important for your safety and for people out on the road as well. All right, guys, happy traveling and uh, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it and I'll catch you later.